thought of having this start to make it a beast team. You'd obviously get yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins, and don't forget to use King with a cheeky 6% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here. Welcome to another Future Stars SBC video. Today we have Fabio Cannavaro as a Future Star card. Uh, 91 rated centre back, uh, 83 pace, 60 shot, 71 passing, 72 dribbling, 94 defence, 85 physicality. 5'9", medium high, 3 star, 3 star. Uh, can play right back as well. Don't think you want to do that. He's not quick enough realistically. Um, acceleration, sprint, uh, sprint speed split is actually pretty decent. I prefer having more acceleration. Uh, his vision... 62 is not great. Uh, 80 short passing, 77 long passing is fine. Uh, 87 agility, 85 balance, 94 reactions, and 85 composure is very good for a centre back. His defending stats are obviously disgusting. Uh, 93 jump at 80 stamina, 87 strength, and 85 aggression. Perfect stats there for a centre back. Um, he does have some very good play styles. Uh, block, intercept, anticipate, and slide tackle are his normal traits. That's unbelievable for a centre back. A lot of pit acrobatic plus, pointless in my opinion. Um, for a centre back, so I don't know what you guys say with that one. It should, it would have been nice if one of these was another player style plus instead of that. That's a downgrade in my opinion. But aerial plus is the only thing that I realistically think saves this saves this SBC and saves this card because Canavara Canavara five foot nine would have been absolutely dreadful, terrible defender, too short. But because he's got aerial plus. He'll jump like a salmon. He'll jump like a salmon out of water. It'll be unbelievable, which is, that's the main thing why I think this card is actually good value. Um, there is only six segments. The first three segments are easy to do. Uh, your bronze legend, obviously, your born legend, which is bronze rares. Might as well call it bronze legend. Um, 200 coins at the moment, buy it now. You're gonna look, you're gonna struggle to get them 150 bid. Bronze rares at the moment are a little bit, like a little bit harder to get a hold of, which is a surprise. Uh, but yeah, 2.2k for Born Legend. You get your small silver players pack. And then the Rising Star is rare silvers, which are easy to pick up for 300 coins by now or 250 coins bid. So that's 3.3k max. You get a terrible reward, which is the three common gold players pack. On a loan, another 81 rated squad to get his loan card, which I would definitely suggest trying before you actually do that. Always try before you buy. It's, they're all 400. Everyone is 400 coins. Anyhow, 81 rates of 400 coins at the moment. 80 rates of 400 coins. All non rares. Uh, nine of your cheapest 81s. We've got Gamma, Pereira, Kulisevsky, uh, DL Media, uh, Romani, uh, Sanchez, Laborde, Hanshaw, and Lad. All 400 coins each. Uh, and Paolo Lopez and Ziyech, two of your cheapest 80s at 400 coins as well. So at 4.4k again, to do the iron alone, I would definitely suggest trying that. Uh, and then we get into the three, obviously, more expensive SBCs. We start with the Galaticos. Uh, foot bin by now, price of the time of this SBC, which has been out for over an hour. Business notes will always be cheap enough to get prices to do, of course, fluctuate as it's out for 60 days. Uh, it's two months, basically. Uh, you need a Real Madrid player. Tusha Mini is the cheapest 84 rated Real Madrid player at the moment. You can use Modric as well. It's up to you. Take your pick. Uh, Tim of the Week's Rono is the cheapest 87 rated Tim of the Week card. 85, 86, and 87 is all around the same price, so just bear that in mind. Uh, 287s, 984s is the best way to do it with 11 players in the squad. Rono, 21k for your informs. Uh, so, as I said, that's the go to price at the moment. Uh, if you don't really want to do that, you can take a risk and do an 83 plus player pick. If you get an 84, then all you got to do is just buy another 87. So, yeah. Uh, Odegaard, 14.5k for your 87s. Everything's gone up in price since the Icon SBC come out. So, just bear that in mind. Uh, Tushmeni, a bit more expensive, uh, 2.5k. Uh, your 84s are 2.3k now. So, you've got Ginter, Alberta, Fabinho, Hoiberg, Majari, Ford, Carrasco, and Small Dini. Uh, so, yeah. 56.4k to do this at the moment, so you're looking between 55 and 60k to do, just because of the inform that makes it a little bit more expensive. You do get a gold pack, which is a terrible reward. It's a 5k reward. Next, we get into the Squadra Azura. You need uh, it's an 87 rated team with one Italian league player. Uh, Donna Rums is probably your best bet to go for um, because 84 Italian players are like 3k minimum. So yeah, I would suggest going for Donna Rums. He's not that much more expensive than cheapest 87. So yeah, uh, we got Bugs Bunny, uh, Griezmann, uh, Pat Three, Pop Goes the Weasel, and Paredes. Uh, you're looking at 20.5k for 88 rate cards. Uh, Donna Rums uh, is 15.5. So there's a k difference. Uh, actually, there's a k difference. It might be better not to do him and buy Bawatin because there's only a 500 coin difference. No, there's not. There's 
700 coin difference at the moment. So Boatin might be a better bet for you if you want to put do her, get Boatin for 84 raid Italian. Uh, but yeah, 2.3k for your 84s. So you've got Dudek Brand, Smaldini, Kula Daddy, and Ribbonefs. Uh, so yeah, uh, 129.5k, so around 130k, between 125 and 135k to do the A7 with the Italian player. You get a rare election, which is a 30k reward. And then we get into the League Legend, which is an 88 rate team with one Italian League player. Uh, cheapest 85 Italian League player and cheapest 84 Italian League player I've got in here. Um, it's 588, 589s, apologies, 188, 385s and 284s. Uh, you're 89s, 30k each at the moment. You've got Rodri, Ribbendiesh, uh, Testagan, Diani and Hergenberg. Uh, yeah, 30k each. Uh, Bernardo Silva's 20k, so they're fluctuating around a bit at the moment for 88s. Uh, Callan Aglu, one of the cheapest Italian league players, 85 rated, uh, along with Bright, and you're sure about that, at 4.9k. Uh, and then Small Dini, obviously one of the cheapest 84 uh, uh, Italian league players, 2.3k, along with Dudek. So, yeah, just under 190k at the moment, 189.3. So you're looking between 185 and 195k to do an 88 rated team. You do get a mega pack, which is a 35k reward, so yeah. As I was saying, if this card looks absolutely unbelievable, if it wasn't for Aerial Plus, this card would be dreadful. Uh, because he's got Aerial Plus, I do think he's worth the money. Um, you could whack up a shadow on him. He gives him 99 defending across the board with more pace. Or you can give him something else. It's up to you. Um, probably an anchor is probably your best bet because he's still going to be quick anyhow. Uh, you're looking at 385k. So between 380 and 400k to do. I don't think it's that bad. Again, the Aerial Plus has saved this. The Acrobatic Plus is pointless uh, for a centre-back, but yeah. Uh, the Aerial Plus has definitely saved this card. Uh, good design as well. It's a nice-looking card. Um, you get 75Ks uh, worth of packs. But yeah, I, I think it's a good. It's one of the better-valued icons we've had for Future Stars. Um, just, again, because of that Aerial Plus, it just saves the card. So yeah, comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you agree with me with that Aerial Plus? And do you think that Acrobatic Plus was pointless and it should have been one of the defending playstyle pluses? But yeah, comments below. Hopefully it saved you some time and some money. Hope the information did help you guys out. Feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel and the video. Obviously, if you're new and you want to see more SBC videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy, obviously. Peace.